Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing just an eye makeup look. So I've already done the rest of my makeup just to save time, and I'm just gonna show you an eyeshadow look today, and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This is not new. This was really popular last October. That's when everybody on YouTube was talking about it, but it was limited edition. So it's on sale right now because they're phasing it out. So you can get this for $35, I think, and it was normally like 52 or something like that. So it is on sale. So you can clearly see why it's called the Full Spectrum Palette. I love this palette. It comes with a giant mirror, which is awesome. And what I love about this palette is like there's really this makes sense like there's a story here i love this so here you have darker toned colors here you have the really bright colors and then here are like more muted pastels but it it just works so well together so any color you would want is in here i've never owned a yellow eyeshadow and now i own three and four colors that i can use as a yellow or a light green so today i'm going to be using this row of purples we're going to dip into a pink and i'm going to use some of this iced color people were really disappointed with iced because it wasn't as pigmented as the rest of them this is what ice looks like on. It's very shiny, but it's not as pigmented as the other colors in the palette. Even the white is more pigmented than that. But what I like to use it for is to top another eyeshadow because it adds really nice shimmer to it. So that's what I'm gonna use iced for today. So we're just gonna jump right into it and do this eye look. Okay, so this is what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna try and stay a little bit closer to the camera so that you can see what's going on. The natural light is fading quickly because it is stormy outside today. But this is what we're going for. I forgot to say earlier that I was gonna add a glitter liner as well. I have already primed my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, Potion in Original. I'm gonna take the brush that the palette came with and I'm gonna go into Paranoia first as our first transition color. These shadows do have a similar texture, consistency, blendability as other Urban Decay shadows do. So if you own an Urban Decay palette, they are very similar. A couple of them are a little bit chalky and a little bit harder to blend, but I really like the pigmentation in this palette, which I think is key if you're gonna make a palette that is so colorful and bright like this, the colors better show up. This brush is all right. It's not as good as the one that comes with the Naked palettes, but the brush is all right. It's a little bit short, but my other blending brush is dirty with another color, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna take a new blending brush and I'm gonna go into Sketch, which is the middle purple. Some of these shadows are in their Alice in Wonderland palette as well, like Hatter but for the most part these are new shadows and they're not in other palettes one thing to keep in mind while you're blending is the higher up you go press softer so where you want the most pigmentation press a little bit harder and then as you go up get softer so that it helps create that really nice gradient that you want i'm going back to the urban decay brush and i'm going to use delirious which is a darker purple and i'm going to focus this out here and bring it into the crease a little bit I'm just switching back to this brush because it's a little bit denser and it'll help me be a little bit more precise in getting Delirious where I want it to be. One thing I really like about this palette is that if you saw my review of the Too Faced Peach palette, I had a couple of issues with the purple in that palette. I also have some issues with their purples in the chocolate bar. And purple can be a difficult eyeshadow color to get right in the first place. I just didn't like those purples in that palette as at all. And I kept telling myself like, okay, I'm gonna buy this Urban Decay palette and if the purples in that palette are better than the Too Faced ones, like that's all I need in life. And the purples in here are pretty dang good. Like that's purple. You don't need to have this palette to be able to create a look like this. If you've got purples from any brand, from anywhere, it'll work. This is just what I have and what I wanted to show you guys but you don't have to have all of the exact products that I have to create these things. I'm just going back to the blending brush with no additional product, just to blend. Whatever you have that's similar will work. You don't have to go out and buy all of the things that I have just to make these things happen. Or if you wanted to do this with a color other than purple, like if you liked the blue better and you have blue eyeshadow, go for it. Like this is just a guide. This isn't like, who's gonna show up and be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Like the makeup police, I don't think so. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more paranoia and really lightly 
kind of try to add a little bit more back in. Okay, I'm gonna take an e.l.f. shadow brush and Faded, which is the pastel purple. This does have some shimmer in it. It has little flecks of what looks like gold. I don't know, they're reflecting differently, but I would say it's gold. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna wet it with a setting spray and I'm just patting this on. I'm not blending this into the crease. I'm not blending this into Delirious. I'm just patting it from the lash line up to the crease. I'm gonna take Iced, which is this silver glittery color, and I'm gonna apply that using my finger because I feel like it works better when I do that. So I'm just taking some of it and I'm gonna pat it right on top of Faded. And this just adds more sparkle and more shimmer, which is what I always want. I'm taking a different e.l.f. shadow brush and for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Sketch, Delirious, and Faded again and just smoke that out. And I'm using this flat shadow brush because I haven't liked the way that pencil brushes have been working on my lower lash line. I am gonna focus Delirious a little bit heavier on the outer corner because that's what I did on the top. I'm using the other side of that brush to go into Iced and Bump, and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner highlight. And then I'm taking Bumped on its own for my brow bone highlight. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do shadow-wise. I'm gonna take this Aurora eyeliner pen in black and I'm gonna add the first eyeliner wing that we're gonna do. If I had one tip for you on eyeliner, it would be to slow it down, take your time, and to practice. I guess that's three tips, but slow it down and just practice. Nobody did a perfect wing liner on the first time they ever tried. Okay, so we've got the black wing on. I'm gonna let it dry for just a little bit. And I'm gonna add the second wing. This is the NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner. I wouldn't use this anywhere except my eyes, so I don't really know what body liner means. Dramatic Sparkle. Is that the color? Dramatic Sparkle? Anyway, I bought this because it looked like it might be a really good dupe for Urban Decay's Midnight Cowboy. It comes with a really thin tip. It wasn't hard to like put it on top of the black liner that I have going on because this is so thin. One thing I also learned about this while I was doing the other eye is that if you wanted to do this first and then put black over the top of it, you could. I was also able to go back over with black and correct any mistakes that I had made. I'm trying to stay in frame for you, but I needed to move the mirror so that I could put my elbows down. Take your time with this as well. There's no rush. Okay, while I wait for that to dry so that I can touch up the parts that are a little messy, I'm going to tight line and line my waterline with this Wet n Wild eyeliner in the shade Black. This does dry pretty quickly, so it's not like you need to wait minutes and minutes for it to dry. I just didn't wanna try and go back over it with this black eyeliner until it was completely dry. So with the black, I'm just cleaning up any of the areas that I felt like the gold got a little too thick and got onto the black eyeliner. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes before I put mascara on because I haven't curled them in a couple days. This is just from Forever 21. This isn't fancy, but I actually really, really like it, so. And then I'm gonna finish the eyes with a nice thick coat of Urban Decay's Big Fatty Mascara. I should say that this is not a sponsored video. Urban Decay did not pay me to say all of these things and use all of these products. I just really like their products. There's another Urban Decay product coming up soon. Okay, so that completes the eye look. I'm gonna do a setting spray and then put lips on. So I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Okay, so I was gonna put a lip color on, but every color I tried, I just wasn't really feeling it and I felt like it was just detracting from the eyes no matter how light I went. So I'm skipping lips today, but that completes the eye makeup. I think it turned out really, really good, really, really glam. I'm actually going to work now, so I'm gonna be wearing this at work, but you know what? If you wanna see more tutorials using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, let me know because there are so many possibilities in this palette because there are so many colors. So let me know if you wanna see more of that. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked this look and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time.